Hello friends! Welcome to another edition of Quick Tip Tuesday, the day I used to put out Quick Tip videos on Tuesdays before I started putting out all my videos on Tuesdays, but now I'm going back to the whole Quick Tip on Tuesday thing. Anyway, so I have a cat who's a total jerk. He sleeps all day and then he goes outside come, you know, nightfall, sometime when the sun goes down, and then he spends all night outside until probably the middle of the night, you know, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30 sometimes. And then he'll come and scratch at the window up by our room to try to tell us he wants to come inside because he's hungry now. So guess what he did to our screen? This. This right here. So we could fix it one of two ways. We could just slap some duct tape on it like this and go down to the fishing hole for the day. But I kind of want to fix it the right way. So let's go ahead and fix it the correct way. I don't even like fishing anyway. So take off that duct tape. This is what the hole looks like. It's pretty bad. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. Yep. It's really, really easy to fix the screen, especially if you already have the frame. And so all you have to do is replace the screen material itself. So they actually sell a roll of screen material in different lengths and um, whatnot, different widths at the local home improvement store and even Walmart sells it. And then they also sell this stuff called Screen Spleen, I believe it is. Maybe it's spline, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's this like rubbery stuff that holds the screen in place. So if you have the screen material or the screen rubbery stuff on the side holding it in and it's still in good shape, you can actually reuse it. If it's not in good shape or if it's missing, they sell that too. But it does come in different sizes, so you might want to either take the frame or a piece of the material so you can match it up to get the right size. Because if it's too small, it just keeps popping out of the little channel it's supposed to fit in. And if it's too big, then you have to really push and push to try to get it to fit in. And it's really hard to get out later, and so yeah, it's just a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and change this material out, this whole screen material on this big window, um, with just the roll of material here. So the only two things I'm going to use is my old broken screen, the material here, and then the only tool I'm going to need is a flathead screwdriver. I like the shorter ones because they're easier to push the material, the screen spleen back in the place. The longer ones seem to be a little harder to use and maneuver. They also make a screen spleen putter inner. I'm not even sure what the tool is called, but it has little channels and then it has a wheel so that when you go to put it in, you kind of just push it along, kind of like a pizza cutter, only it's pushing it in instead of cutting. Um, so yeah, with that and then of course a knife so we can trim it later is the only really materials we need. So it's really easy to do. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find a nice flat space that you can work on. I'm going to go ahead and work on my deck here. The second thing you're going to want to do is look for where the screen spleen uh, ends. So here's probably where it ended and then here's where it began or vice versa. doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it down and then I'm going to stick my flathead screwdriver in there and then I'm going to pop it out. So now that that's out, it should be really easy to pull your screen out because the screen is held in place with that stuff, like I said. So take this out, get rid of it. The next thing we're going to want to do is stretch out our material. We bought this material for a different window and so it's not the right length. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. There you go. As you can see, it's just a little too short. So I'm going to have to run it this way, which is fine because I needed some extra for my EVAP cooler anyway. So I'm just going to roll it out to the right length, get it nice and straight, and then you can put your screen spleen in. It's important that you start from one side, and then you go toward the other, the one long length, then the other sides, and then the last portion of it. Because that's how you keep the tension correct. So you want to start with one side, do the other sides, and then the opposite side from the side you did first last. So it doesn't have any bubbles or wiggles. 
Okay, so once you get all that screen spleen put in there, all you gotta do is just cut off the excess along the outside edge and pop your screen back into place and it's that easy. And then you have a good working screen with no holes, keep out all the bugs and everything else. So there you go, hopefully this project was helpful to you. Maybe you have a screen to fix and if you can, or if you do, then now you can fix it yourself without it costing a lot of money.